Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna share my story of how I started thinking in English and when we don't think in English, we tend to speak slower, uh, we tend to translate things in our heads and uh, we just tend to be less proficient in our English. So thinking in English is a key thing for you to move from being intermediate to upper intermediate advanced and native speaker levels. So if you're interested, continue watching. If you think that this could happen overnight, uh, it cannot, unfortunately. So my story is uh, I started thinking in English for a couple nights when I was in the UK. I think it was my second or first visit. It was really early on. I was a teenager, so the process went faster. So what happened every morning when I woke up in my homestay uh, with the host family, I would be really embarrassed about my English because my brain is still sleeping and uh, they would ask me questions in English and I would be like, oh my god, uh, they're asking me about my breakfast, but the only way I can say what I want is in Russian in my native language because I just woke up. And uh, this was the hardest moment to switch languages throughout the day. But by the evening, because I was communicating solely in English with other people, it would be really easy for me to talk about what I want for dinner or just you, you know discuss anything and because I spent the whole day thinking in English I went to bed thinking in English and then I think it was my week three and normally when you go to learn your language somewhere during summer you stay for like maybe four or five weeks or whatever but by week three I went to bed thinking in English and I had a dream in English and I woke up in the morning and I realized I'm actually thinking in English. And that was like this huge transition for me because I didn't have this switch in the morning because I woke up with my brain functioning in English already. And my level back then was, I think, upper intermediate. So I was pretty good in English, not spoken English. I was good at grammar, I was good at vocabulary, uh, but this switch was crucial. And um, I remember um, coming down to the kitchen and sharing with my homestay that, hey guys, I just dreamed in English. And it went away. I came back to Russia when uh, it went away because I switched back to speaking Russian, I switched back to reading in Russian, but I created some tips for myself because I really wanted that feeling to stay with me throughout my life <laughs> and uh, I really wanted to still be able to think in English even in my own home country. So I have created a couple of rules for myself that I've followed carefully until I moved to the US. Uh, and uh, when you're in an English speaking environment, super easy. So, um, well, rule number one, travel to an English speaking country, stay with locals as often as you can. Uh, linguatrip.com, all the programs are listed there. So, um, you know, select the one that fits you. But yeah, that requires your time and money. But this is the most effective way. This is when I went through this transformation. When I came back to Russia, the second thing I did, um, I brought a lot of books in English with me and uh, a lot of magazines. Uh, you don't have to go somewhere to bring stuff in English, you can just go online. But for me, switching to reading in English only and I told myself, okay, starting this day, for all the non-study related materials, I'm switching to English because this is the way to introduce this practice of consuming information in English uh, into my everyday life. So maybe you follow this rule as well. Maybe you tell yourself, hey, from now on, I will only do fun stuff in English. Uh, so whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's Instagram, whether it's um, a book that you're reading, maybe, you know, switch it to English. And the third thing that is really still working for me here in the US, when you learn a new concept in English, so for example, right now I'm learning a lot about like childbirth and pregnancy, and I've realized that when I encounter a new topic in English and I learn all the terms, I cannot think about this topic in my native language because I don't even know what things mean. I cannot translate them because I learned the concepts in English straight away. I'm not doing this translation in my head. The fourth tip is that all of us are doing these translations. Like uh, when we're at school, we'll learn that this is a pencil, but 
we don't learn the concept we learn the translation and they tell you a pencil in your own language and this is how your brain learns the word but this is the wrong way this is not how kids learn language and uh, your goal is to learn a language like as if you're a kid so when you're learning a new concept you get rid of this stuff so for example if you want to read more about photography or if you want to read more about filmmaking blogging do that in english and if you encounter a new concept you just google it you go to images and uh, you read what that word means without translating it and this is the key i remember when i moved to germany for a semester to uh, study mathematics I learned so many new words um, regarding econometrics and like mathematics in German and then I came back to Russian. I couldn't speak Russian during my classes because everything I knew was in German. This is like a game changer as well. So learn new concepts in English and uh, do not translate stuff from your own language into English. Try to learn them as a as a concept. And of course um, other daily activities that you can switch to English again our goal uh, we have 12 hours a day, right? We do a lot of stuff in our native language just because we're surrounded by it. But our goal is to take all the things during the day that can be done in English and do them in English. So the next thing, of course, switching your phone, uh, your smartphone, your laptop to English. This is like number one thing you should do after watching this video because uh, this is the key. The next thing you could do is um, if you have a daily planner, if you have your habits tracker, if you have whatever, um, like a calendar where you're writing things down do that in English again this would tell your brain okay uh, when I was a kid by the way I had a diary where I wrote down all of the activities that happened to me during the day well I could I think I did it till I was 18 or 19 I did it first in English uh, because I didn't want my parents to understand what was going on and then I switched to German and I did it in German that was again amazing practice for me and because I really wanted to do it and because I really had a goal of other people not getting what I'm writing about uh, it was a great way to practice languages another exercise that I would recommend doing is if you have a favorite song try to write down its lyrics while listening to it there will be some words you won't be able to understand you will look them up later so your goal when you're listening to a song is just writing down everything you understand maybe leave some blanks and uh, my task to you there are a lot of songs out there uh, that you can practice with but the most challenging song for me was a song by modest monkey float on do that first like start with that song you'll be so confused but the other songs will be so easy so you just switch on the song and you write the lyrics down. helps you with listening helps you with uh, thinking in English and uh, well it's gonna improve your listening dramatically and the key thing in all of the things that I mentioned is being regular so you start with just one thing per day maybe like even like switching your phone to English and then you introduce more and more and you if you have an activity tracker and it really looks like it's oops hello it's a really simple thing uh, when you can make it yourself like activity tracker for example you have English song and here you have gym and here you have your supplements or whatever and like every day you just put a plus in front of a thing that you've done so try to introduce a daily habit of like an English song or uh, reading in English but when you do reading tell yourself read at least like 10 pages because otherwise reading is very vague you're like eh, I've read a text message in English 10 pages at least and then every day like Monday Tuesday Wednesday so super easy to make you just put a dot in front of things you've done and this way you develop a regular habit that was it for me guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you're not yet thinking in English <laughs> subscribe to this channel because watching more of this content would definitely help you switch your brain from your own language into English like this video if you enjoyed this content and please let me know down in comments below what is this thing that you're doing in English every day thank you so much and I will see you in the next videos